Hello everyone, this is Darwell 20 and welcome to episode 99, coming up on that one, though, episode of Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode Series. Oh my goodness, we are super close to getting the thing that we want to get. Um, so, long story short, we, uh, we're, we're working towards the Infinity Booster card, which should allow my wireless crafting terminal to work from anywhere, including across dimensions. Uh, and we've worked a lot on this the last few episodes because there's a lot of prereqs we have to do. And I'd like to get this taken care of, so, like, let's do it, right? So that's our plan. That's what we're doing. That's what's cooking. So what I want to do now is make a nice ranged weapon. And I want to try something new, which is always a little dangerous. Um, so there's, 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 there's some kind of Tinker's mod in this pack. I'm not entirely sure which one it is. That adds other kinds of stuff and things to the pack. Um, like if we advance through here. I don't know if it's called Tinker's. But if it's not in here, then we're going to find it listed here. Um, something adds laser guns. Plus tick. That's what it is. Plus tick. Right? So this mod adds katanas and laser guns. Um, and I've been told that these things can be pretty powerful if you make them right. Uh, so let's look at laser guns a little bit. Um, so to make these, we need a pipe piece. Right? Does it tell me? It doesn't really. Uh, but basically, if we look at this, you can see there's a pipe piece, a laser medium, and a battery cell. And the pipe piece seems to be related to the attack damage. The laser medium looks like it has a laser power, which might be a modifier on the attack damage, and also the range. And then the battery cell apparently is how much RF it can store. Um, so what I want to try and do is find, like, a decent pipe piece that's going to have a lot of attack, right? Um, so I guess we're looking for like a good big number here, like vibrant pipe piece. That looks like it has a lot of attack. That might be cool. Um, and, and I want to try making one of these lasers um, and see, you know, how it works out. So like vibrant pipe piece looks really good. And I don't know if there's a better one than vibrant. I'm just looking at like the attack damages here. Is there anything with a greater than nine? Ooh, 11. Demonic pipe piece. Might be doable. Right? Can't we make demonic ingots? Um, isn't it just dropping something? Golden lava with nether bricks on all four sides? So that might be doable. Demonic. Ooh, evil infused. Evil infused ingots. Remind me what these are. The Enchanter, it's another star. That might be doable. Look at that. Attack 13. What else we got? Anything better than 13? Supremium. Eh, we're probably not making that just yet. I'm just going to peek at this and see what else we got. Atheum. Isn't that the stuff we just got? So this was 13. Atheum. I don't see it having a recipe, though, so I don't know. Let me look through these and see if I can come up with uh, a better one than 13, and then we'll go on from there. Oh, wow. Okay, Infinity. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> not quite yet, right? Not quite yet. What else we got here? Anything better than 13? Because I might try that demonic metal stuff. Though I don't know, like, what the side effects in a bad way might be. Wyvern. Well, that's kind of cool. Again, you don't have a, a, a way to be made, though, and that makes me a little worried. Yeah. I wonder, just out of curiosity, so first off, let's upgrade our tool station, right? We're going to want uh, some electrical steel. Can you make like 40 of them real quick? Just lickety split, would you? Uh, so I've got my tool station here ready to go, right? Can we make a wyvern? What would be involved in making that? A wyvern core? Yeah, that's probably not happening, right? Not just yet. Not just yet. Soon, maybe, but not just yet. So I'm thinking we could try, and I'm thinking we're going to try. There we go. Boom. So that has a layer. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. And a tough tool rod, apparently. But I don't know if that has much of an effect on, like, the... Uh, 
Special range weapon that fires accurate shots from afar, but requires both durability and energy. It can also change mode to enable smelting of blocks. Attack depends on the laser medium, not on the pipe piece. Oh. <laughs> attack depends on the laser medium, not on the pipe piece. Okay. Then why does that have an attack modifier? Wah, wah, wah. But it specifically says there the laser medium is all that matters, right? Oh. How good is the vibrant durability? Hmm. Let me look at stuff for a sec. So I'm going to try Restonia, because it says the higher your health, the more damage you do. So if I got some Restonia crystals, and we made... Is this the pipe piece pattern? Do you just go straight up in here, buddy? Yeah, you do. Okay, cool. So there's step one. There's the pipe piece, right? The other thing we're going to need is... That's the battery cell. We're going to need one of them. Um, and the laser medium, right? So laser medium. There's only a handful of those, it looks like. Unless they're named differently. But no, it looks like there's only a handful of laser mediums. So, uh, there's power 2.5, 8.6, 5, 10, refined glowstone. Infinity is 65, probably not there yet. Emiratic is 10, Diamantine is 10, Chaotic is 45. So I'm guessing Refined Glowstone, Sassy Illuminati, Vindictive, Morgan Le Fay. So your, your options are Refined Glowstone, let's look at what their abilities do, Emiratic and Diamantine. Refined Glowstone, Emiratic, and Diamantine. So in here, right, Tool Materials, Refined Glowstone, just says Shocking. Uh, I don't know that I care about that. Emiratic? Vindictive, bonus damage to players and you gain some health by attacking. Eh. I'm not going to be attacking players, really, right? Um, and Diamantine, Hearts. No, Morgan Le Fay. Bonus magic damage, ranging from 0 to 5. That's kind of cool. Let's do that. So can I have some Diamantines? I don't know how many of these crystals we need, but we're going to try it out, right? Like, just do the thing. Go ahead. There it is. Thank you. Uh, so then you're going to go, boop, and laser medium is going to be this guy. Cool, three of them is what the answer was. All right, so there's your pipe piece, there's that, right, and you guys can go away. And then this guy, so the battery cell, right, this I presume is just how much energy it holds. So 120k, 260 for end rod. All right, end rod. Seems to be the best one. And I assume you do something like that. Nice. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, and then uh, a tool rod, a tough tool rod. Right, a uh, tough tool rod. What do we want to use there? Uh, I'm assuming the only thing that this really matters about is, is going to ultimately be... The durability. So let's do Osmium Tough Tool Rod. I think that's a pretty decent one, right? So we're gonna need the uh, the old melter. Do you not have a Tough Tool Rod recipe? So let's get a couple pieces of clay in there. You know what? Let's get a couple pieces of gold. We'll just get the actual proper Tough Tool Rod recipe going. Do you have a Tough Tool? You know what? I probably never made one because we never did that much with tinkers, to be fair. Uh, do I have any stone? I should. And then pick that right back up into our dank null. Thank you. So you there, gold. A little faster, please. Let's go faster. Thank you. 
Thank you again. Probably two. Is that about right? Or is it three? Eh, it might be three. There you are. So let's make this laser gun and see what this is all about. Does that sound fun? And then we might go try and kill the dragon with it. Because it's a laser gun. And I'm all about it. It might be good, it might not be. We'll find out pretty quickly. So there's a laser gun that's going to have um, laser power 10, range 24. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I didn't really look at those. I didn't look at those ranges too much. So that range was 40 on the glowstone one. Refined glowstone was 40. 24 and 24. Refined glowstone might have been a better option there. Why don't we do that? Why don't we do laser medium refined glowstone? You don't know how to make refined glowstone? Dire, please. Tis tis, dire. Tis tis. Do I even have on this thing an interface? Uh, I do. Actually, I should know how to make refined glowstone. Did I put too many dudes on this dude? I might have put too many dudes on this dude. That could be my problem. Well, we're gonna have to fix that later. For now, just make me a bunch of refined glowstone, would you? Now that's interesting. You know how to craft refined obsidian, but you don't know how to craft refined glowstone? Explain. One glowstone ingot with glowstone dust. That really makes no sense. That really makes no sense. Oh, because they're called glowstone ingots. Oh, well, there's your problem. We do know how to all craft them. Okay. So, I did not derp up my channels, thank you very much. Laser medium, does these have to be melted? I'm assuming they have to be melted. So what I could do is take the laser medium that I'm not going to use, and a couple gold to make a pattern for it. Not that, you know, we have any idea. But that should be good. Cool, so you're going to make that, and then you're going to make that, and that will be a little bit better because it has a longer range. I like that plan. Okay, laser gun is a go. So now how do I get you to have power in you? Well, you already have power in you, so that's good. So do you just... How do I how do I shoot you? So you've got everything you need, presumably. Yeah, you've got your RF charged. Tool mode attack. So you're just not shooting? Do I need to actually see a mob? Oh wow, hello. Well, that's cool. Wow, that thing that thing hello. Hello. That's kind of cool. That's that's nifty. Okay. Okay. I got three modifiers I get to throw on this thing. It's making me wonder like, hey, what's up? What's up, modifiers? What kind of modifiers can I put on you? Uh, so you've got all these traits. We've got three modifiers available. The attack is 11. Like, I feel like quartz is probably what we want to throw on this thing, right? Isn't that like your damage booster? I don't know if that actually makes a difference or not. I mean, it says it's a higher attack, so I feel like that 
counts, right? I have one more, but I'm gonna save it just in case. Should we go try killing an Ender Dragon with this thing? Yes, Direwolf. Yes, go kill the Ender Dragon. I also like how when you're holding it, it like puts the ghost effect around like the mobs, right? So you can see them better. That's also kind of cool. All right, uh, so we want some end crystals, right? Can we get like 23 of them? I believe we can, Direwolf. I believe we can. Courtesy of uh, a little something called lots of gas tears. So we're going to pop over the end. We're going to kill the end dragon, hopefully, with this laser gun. Whoo that sounds fun, right? And see how that works out? So I've got flight. I've got plenty of health and stuff for now. Um, I should probably bring food, like some baked potatoes or something, just to... Well, we don't really have any food, do we? Uh, hearts? Hey, a southern-style breakfast sounds like a nice thing to bring. Okay. Are you done crafting, or are you making one more? Fused quartz. Stored six, crafting one. Why'd you get stuck, fused quartz? I suspect he might be just chilling in here. No. There you go. All right, so we're ready to teleport home if things go wrong. We've got this guy to teleport us to the end. So you dial up to the end portal, please. We're gonna jump in and we're gonna see what happens. In we go. All right, so the Ender Dragon is alive at the moment. We never killed the Ender Dragon in this pack. Can I just... <laughs> you can laser shoot. <laughs> You can shoot enemies with lasers. Oh, hello. Oh, wow, I can actually shoot through. That is that is a little bit hilarious. Hey, what's up, Ender Dragon? That ain't bad. That ain't half bad. And theoretically, I'm gonna get, like... Oh, yeah, you That ain't half bad. That ain't half bad at all. That's cool. That's cool. All right. I mean, I'm. It said very specifically that the Restonia pipe piece does not affect the attack, right? But only the laser power. Hello, Dragonheart. How are you? You know what I should have brought with me? Pistons. So I can get these eggs. Because we're going to want them, right? I feel like the answer to that is yes. Uh, I should have brought a piston with me. Still that weird thing that happens with the pistons. Not sure what's causing that, but it's not the end of the world. Alright. Back to the end portal. That laser gun is kind of cool. I ain't gonna lie. That is pretty spiffy. I mean, in, in a, wow, that's really powerful kind of way. Right? In a, wow, that's a little bit OP kind of way. Put you there so we can put our heart away. Let's put... Yeah, you want a piece of this laser gun? Huh? You want a piece of my laser gun? Thank you. Dragon egg, good. Now it's the it's these places that these go, right? Hello. Laser returns. All right. Uh, yeah, you're loud, aren't you? Uh. I mean, what I could do. Eh. I wonder if I could like sound muffler. I have invisibility? Why do I have invisibility? Anyone? Why do I have invisibility? What made me invisible? For basically ever. Am I invisible when I'm holding the laser gun? Alright, that's comedy. The laser gun makes me invisible. I think the range 40 is the number of blocks. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> That's just funny to do. Alright. Goodbye, Ender Dragon. Look at you, you can't even move because I'm hitting you so frequently. That is, that is ridiculous. I mean, to be fair, like, the Draconic Bow, like, when we get it to Awakened here, definitely kills him even faster. And we don't even have to waste our time with the whole, you know, respawning of the things thing. But still, like, that's kind of cool. And theoretically, if you look at some of, like, the requirements for this, we could have got this pretty early game. Um, not that we've done a lot of, like, running around and killing things, but still, you get the point. Right. Did we get another egg for that or not yet? Nope, no such luck. But that's alright, you can go away. And what else did we get? Oh, look, we got things this time. Yay, for dropping stuff. Hey, you made Supremium for me. And, mm-hmm, cool, cool, cool. All the things. Alright, I'm gonna kill him a few more times, get a few more hearts, and then we'll be back. And once we come back, we should be good to make the infinite range while it's transmitting. Right? Good times. And you know what? If you don't mind it taking a little longer, it ain't even worth it to kill the crystals. Still out damage them. You can out damage their heal pretty easily. I would argue that it takes longer to kill the crystals than it does to kill the dragon while being healed by the crystals. So, that's cool. Now, I'll also state, like, I don't know if this is bad luck or if this is pack design, but I've killed the dragon like half a dozen times now, and I've yet to get another egg from him. I only got the first one. So, I don't know what's up with that. Uh, uh, not, not sure what that means, just reporting it. So I've killed the dragon a handful of times, right? Do we have enough egg uh, hearts now? Let's see. Put you guys away. Put you away. Heart. We have four of them. So that means we should be able to make four Quam Entanglopers, which means we should be able to make four of these dudes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Guys. Guys. This means we're ready. We can do the thing. We can make the Infinity Range Wireless doohickey. Right? Not for nothing, but that's cool. Right? Like, look at all this crafting that's going on. Look at all the things we're making. How cool is that? Like in this. Like in all this. Look at all the crafting cooking up. Booyah. I think we can get our, another tier upgrade installer, actually. How are you guys doing? I haven't checked on... Oh, that's a thing. <laughs> I think we should probably turn off our Void Orb <laughs> That's a thing that we should be concerned about. I think it's time to turn this off. <laughs> I didn't consider that. I was not, I was not thinking, I was thinking, wow, a million R of a tick. I was not thinking my ability to process ores. Let's, uh, let's speed you up and replace your things with things because... <laughs> oh my goodness, that's funny. That's funny. Hopefully we have enough power to uh, process all this stuff. Apparently we're keeping up on the oxygen and such, so that's nice. Hydrogen chloride and oxygen. Look at it flicker like crazy. Uh, I think these are both now just running all the time. I think I think they 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 maybe not. Dumping excess oxygen. Okay. Yeah, no, you're just you're just cruising right along, ain't you? You have a net gain on oxygen. All right, well that's good. Alright, you guys keep cooking. You guys just keep processing all oh, that one. Holy cow, that's hilarious. <laughs> I didn't I was not I was not thinking that. Oh hey, look, you I did I leave you I did. That was last episode's thing. Or was that an episode back? I forget. So those of you who follow me on Twitter may know I'm going to PAX East uh, in the near future. This video might go live during it, even. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm currently in the middle of building large amounts of backlog. So, you know, that's a thing. So you guys are making the circuit boards? I just want to make sure that you're behaving yourselves, right? Yeah, you're doing and you're doing. Good, 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 good. So everybody's actually working. Everybody's actually doing their job. I'm kind of excited to see that happening. Stored crafting one intricate circuit board? Yeah, you are. Good job. All right, and the last thing you're gonna make is the quantum entangle border, which doesn't actually seem to be working. 
So let's cancel that guy. Quantum Entangle Porter is right next to Infused Enderpearl. So what's your beef, stranger? I'm gonna or dictionary substitution you probably because um so did i save that with or dictionary substitutions on substitutions yes um the reason i'm guessing that didn't work is because one of those blocks must have mbt data hey look <gasps> ah, 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 quantum and da, 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 da. you guys ready infinity booster card go now this thing better not be like energy based right nope it, it would have disappeared if it were energy based so this lasts forever this lasts th there's a config option in the infinity uh booster card for a wireless terminals right uh either it lasts forever or each one of these gives you like a thousand energy which lasts for like a, a certain period of time like maybe a minute uh, and so you have to keep making more of them to keep having Infinity Booster. But that's not the case. That is not the case. So let's demonstrate this by teleporting to the end and demonstrating that our AE network is accessible via the end. You ready? We are in the end. And I have access to AE. So like, hey, I need a piston? Not a problem. Hey, I need to craft something? Not a problem. You see? You see why I put a lot of time and effort into doing this? But it was 100% worth it. No longer do I go near my base to access my, my wireless system. How great is that? How great is that? Yeah, you guys just keep doing the thing, right? Rebuild your whatever you want to rebuild. That's cool. It's all good. I'm not worried. It gives me invisibility while I'm holding it. How funny is that? So it gives me invisibility and it outlines the, the 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 mobs nearby that I can hit. I guess that's like the mobs that are within range. That's too funny, dude. And hey, I need to put stuff away. What? Did I leave a heart here? I might have left a heart here last time I killed that. It's fine, we got it. Yep, just uh, you know, die. It takes a little longer to kill him this time, but like I said, I, I feel like it's it's faster to kill him this way than to kill all those crystals and then kill him. Right. And draconium for days. Not really. Not that much draconium. But some. Lots of supremium though from him. That's the that's what's up, right? Wow, we have a lot of supremium essence. Because that also drops from the Wither Boss. That's one thing about mystical agriculture that I'll say is a little bit broken. The fact that supremium drops in such large quantities from withers and dragons. Because supremium's supposed to be like, you know, the end game gated resource, right? Um, and clearly that's not super duper the case. So I guess just because I have the crystals, I might as well do one more dragon kill. Back in a minute when he's dead, you guys don't need to do it again, right? If you do, just rewind the video. I wonder if it debuffs him in some way, like with a slowness or something. Most other mobs die so fast that you don't notice, but like... Maybe not. I don't know. Cool, though. I like the sound effect, too. A little pew. Pretty awesome, right? Alright, give me that there, heart. Still no more dragon eggs, though. That I find strange. Like, maybe... The pack is configured in such a way that dragon eggs no longer drop from subsequent dragon kills. Or I've just been really unlucky. I thought it was like a 50-50. But I'm honestly not sure. Um, but now that we have a dragon egg mill, by the way, or now that we have a dragon egg, we could get a dragon egg mill. Might not be a bad thing to have, right? Because these things are super nice. Um, so how much? 96 grid power, right? Where's my grid power stuff? Over here, yeah? Yeah, what's up, buddy? Now we have 596. Yeah, dragon egg mill with a dragon egg on top of it equals 500 extra utilities power. Might be useful later on. Just saying. All right, looking good. So we've got a few dragon hearts. That's cool. Ice dragon flesh. Ooh, we can eat that. That sounds like a bad idea. Dragon skull. 
also scary. Uh, dragon bones and scales and all this other cool stuff, right? So um, I think for now it's a good wrapping up point for the episode. We we are in good shape. Can we go check on our mob farm and see what everybody's doing? Not too shabby. Just want to peek in on you guys over here and see what's up. So you're doing your thing, right? I think he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Um, and we should have lots of wither skulls. Hey, 16 stacks of wither skulls. I'm going to get six stacks of you. And we're going to get eight stacks of soul sand. And that's going to be two stacks of nether stars in this machine that I built. Booyah. All right, so for now, though, 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. Uh, and I'm not 100% sure. I haven't actually, like, following a progression. Like, the last few episodes have all been about getting that wireless dude, right? So now we have something super cool, right? Wherever I am in the world, any dimension, any planet, anywhere, I have access to my AE system. That is awesome, right? Uh, and we have a lot of backlog of ores to clean up. Like, just out of curiosity, how much ore do we have in our system? Wow, a lot of ore. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah. So for now, Doll 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. Um, hopefully have, have cleared a large amount of the backlog of that ore that we've got. Uh, and I don't know, we'll figure it out. For now, take it easy.